Hello everyone, George here, and as you can see, we are back, finally, on F1 Clash to play the qualifying round of the Japanese Grand Prix event. So, before uh, we get into the qualifying round update, uh, 24 is finally uh, here. Uh, I haven't played a lot of races. Um, it's the first time I'm gonna be trying the matchmaking. Uh, when it comes to Grand Prix events, um, Hodge did announce that we are gonna be facing uh, easier matchups when it comes to uh, matches or races in Grand Prix events, but as for duels, it is gonna be uh, the same. So, uh, theoretically, we should be able to score more points. Um, I currently have, or I'm nearly at 8.8k flags. Uh, I have decided to uh, carry on and go up in flags grind series 12 as uh, reaching 8.5k flags was basically a mistake and uh, it's all gonna be uh, death groups from now on so let's just move on and uh, hopefully in the near future something different will come up for this event I decided to use Lewis Hamilton instead of Max Verstappen and I'm using Perez at level 4 with the 10% buff on his stats. And I'm still using the same setup, still waiting uh, on a few parts to be upgraded. Now I do have the coins uh, to upgrade some parts. I have already played my first two races, 65 points. Uh, not the worst start, of course. Uh, unfortunately, race 1, uh, was I was supposed to get um, a wet qualifying session but it was a full dry race and we managed to score some points. For this event, we do have the Kawhi. Uh, it is an existing boost uh, in the game as well. So let's just carry on. Uh, race three should be around, it is around Singapore. 83% chance of having a wet race. Um, the, like, the good news is if I do get a wet qualifying session, I'm gonna be getting a decent amount of points uh, during that race, even if it's a dry uh, race. But wet qualifying uh, sessions are gonna give me, let's say, around P14 and P16 uh, on the grid, which is amazing. But uh, when I play uh, or when I get a dry qualifying, I'm gonna be starting from the back of the grid. Even Perez at level 4 with the 10% is just not enough uh, to qualify better than P20. So we do get uh, a wet qualifying here. Uh, and you're gonna see we are gonna be in around P15, P16 with Perez, P19 with Hamilton. Of course, these qualifying are not uh, like the real qualifying I am currently getting when I face a weak arrival. And this is the problem with consistency. If I use uh, the same setup, when I face someone stronger than me, on the same setup with the same drivers, I'm gonna be qualifying in the back, nearly in the back. But with this same setup, if I uh, face someone who's, who's nearly weaker than me, then um, I will qualify in P14 with Perez. Um, and this is what happened with me during race two, I believe. I got uh, a very weak, opponent and I got a wet qualifying session it is a decent start from both of my drivers um, I'm just hoping that I can get as many as possible when it comes to wet races during the opening and finals as uh, it's gonna be my only chance um, to be able to get a good placement uh, inside these death groups um, for this one, I'm gonna be going for a one-stop strategy and uh, Because both of my drivers are literally behind each other um, I'm gonna be going for three laps with Perez go for an early undercut and Push from there for like two laps just to secure some spots and with Hamilton I know that I should go for three four uh, the same strategy as Perez, but uh, I don't even have a decent gap between both of my drivers so I'm just gonna push for three full laps now with Perez um, go for now for an early undercut uh, and after that well I'm gonna be gaining a lot of positions uh, I don't think Hamilton is gonna pick up 
a lot of positions uh, when using this specific strategy. 4-3 is definitely not going to work for you as you have to always go for an undercut. Overcut will never work uh, around Singapore, especially in wet traces. You have to go for the undercut and from there, well, you, <laughs> you just gain those spots, you gain those points. Um, when, it when, it, like, when it comes to um, race starts, uh, I have played a lot of duels, especially um, uh, after the update. Uh, race starts are better. Uh, there's no cars stopping uh, on the grid. Like your driver is al always trying to find um, a way to keep the car moving forward. And you can get a lot of positions as well. If you get lucky at the start of the race, you will definitely pick up so many positions. Uh, when it comes to swiping, it has been removed. Even though some players are reporting that they are still able to swipe. Um, I think they didn't get the update yet. Um, or something is like something feels wrong. Um, when it comes to matchmaking, um, like this one, even though I have a like I have the lower team score in this matchup, but it is still quite a fair matchup, you know. Like I do have a thousand three hundred and ninety-three maybe. And my rival has 1,418, which is still, it's still pretty much playable. But uh, if we are still facing um, a team score with 100 and plus points, that means um, like easy matchups in Grand Prix events aren't working uh, yet. Um, we are currently, by the way, up in P5 with Perez. The undercut worked perfectly. As I said, I should have gone for the same strategy with Hamilton, but it's just qualifying round, you know, and it is what it is. Um, we'll definitely not make this mistake during opening round and finals. Uh, another uh, thing, uh, I was so uh, angry, I was so mad uh, when I missed out on uh, finals last Grand Prix event, but uh, there's always next week. And uh, actually, I took the weekend off, so uh, done some activities and stuff, uh, which was pretty much uh, f like funnier than uh, being stuck for like two, three hours uh, recording and uh, raging as well. So that's completely fine. Uh, we're not going to complain. I honestly did get amazing rewards for the past month or five weeks. So after thinking about it, like it was good to get uh, free time from grinding and uh, making videos and work, to be honest. So uh, we are actually entering our final lap. Uh, I'm gonna be pushing with Perez uh, till the end. He should be making it to the finish line. Hamilton is uh, back up again in P13. He's just not able to overtake Ricardo. 100% uh, I'm going to be avoiding this strategy. And you should uh, too, guys. Uh, this strategy, 4-3, it won't work uh, during a wet race in Singapore. Perez is actually up in P3 at the moment. I, I didn't even pay attention that he overtook those two cars. Um... During a wet race, Perez is just super amazing. And uh, he'll be definitely doing the job for you. So that's going to be P3 for Perez. Hamilton, uh, actually he managed to overtake Ricardo, which is uh, pretty amazing. Um, I've, I believe I saw a car in front. Yeah, there's a car in front that got a breakdown. So if we can overtake this car, hopefully... So that will be a P11, which we get eventually. So that's 36 points. Amazing result. And uh, yeah, on to the final race. All right. So before starting the race, I just wanted to show uh, what matchmaking I got. So we are facing a guy with 1500 team score. So scratch what we said about easier matchups. And uh, yeah, this is just crazy. I don't think... Um, the full update is like activated yet um, on the game. Like we did update the game, but it's not activated probably. Um, 
Hutch is still waiting for everyone to get the update or like activate it or, or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, as I said, during uh, dry races, we're getting bad qualifying sessions. P19, P20, a one-stop strategy for Hamilton. He's the driver in the back, uh, definitely going for a one-stop with Perez. Let's just use the hook. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going for 2-3-2. Two, two. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to score uh, a lot of points. So uh, we're I'm like mid-race. Uh, I'm going to be like fast forwarding uh, till the final lap. Uh, this was a very bad race um, during uh, dry races and especially around a track like Suzuka. Uh, you basically don't stand a single chance of um, scoring a decent amount of points. So basically, um, if we get dry races uh, in opening and finals around uh, Suzuka, then it is going to be game over. Uh, I haven't actually seen uh, the tracks collection uh, for opening round. Um, we 100% we're going to be having Silverstone. And there's Suzuka, obviously. But as for the remaining of the tracks and the weather forecast for those races, I didn't actually see. So hopefully we get um, the maximum amount of wet races or wet qualifying sessions at least. So that we can score uh, some like decent points, uh, which is going to be crucial for our uh, opening round trying to reach finals this week. So let's just uh, fast forward here to the final lap. And you can clearly see uh, Hamilton with a one-stop strategy did uh, go up to P14. Perez with a two-stop strategy, which is 100% uh, not um, the correct strategy for Suzuka during a dry race. But uh, I had to try something to be able to pick up those positions. 2-3-2 uh, with Perez didn't pay up um, a lot. Uh, hopefully Perez will be able to pick up like uh, one, maybe two positions before the finish line. As for Hamilton, he is finishing in P14. This is actually the best result or the best outcome we could have got from this race. Uh, 11 points for Hamilton, uh, 6 points for Perez, 17 points. Of course, this is um, a bad race for us. And uh, I'm sorry, I had uh, to witness such bad scores, but... Uh, as I said, uh, we should be 100% qualified. Let's have a look at the debrief. Level 6 Max Verstappen, level 5 Perez. As for the car now, uh, level 4 Leviathan, level 5 Flow, 5 Hydra, 5 Flux. Yeah, this is an impossible matchup for us and 100% there was literally nothing I could have done about it. Uh, I did try the two stops with Perez in hopes that we could have done uh, something, but yeah, it is what it is. So, um, after playing our four races, we currently have 118 points. This should be more than enough to qualify for opening round. And uh, yeah, after all, I'm uh, pretty happy with this uh, score. I believe in, in qualifying rounds, this is a new personal best. So, this is gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments uh, if the update is working for you, if you're getting easier matchups. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, take care, and peace.